Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so in the last episode, uh, we got brought down here into the hollows to deliver something. And uh, we got stuck here, we got, we got ended up talking to the Korra AI. And uh, yeah, now we're getting out of here, so let's get out of here and find out what the hell's going on. It's pretty interesting, man. You pretty got a ticket? You are shaking. Are you okay? Uh -huh. It's fine. It's cold down here. Just... Some old computer terminal was acting really strange. Let's get going. The sooner we get out of here, the better. I agree. So, do we go back the same way we came, I guess? I would assume so. Didn't look like there was any other way, right? Let's go to the map map. Hollows... Yeah, it looked like that was the end of it, so... That's good. But there was two ways. You can get to the hollows like this too. Or what? Or was that the other way off? You got M. Could I have turned here? Or is just this whole area down here the hollows? Oh yeah, I think that's how that works. Now what? You think that that guy would call me back and I would have to go see him, right? There we go. Well, there's at least control. Hey, kid. Hey, Rania, are you there? I need to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here. Not heard from you in a while, Control. Yeah, listen, kid, I need to um, apologize. Last time I was, um... Drunk? <laughs> if only. I can't drink anymore. can't sleep anymore. Sometimes I get strung out. I see I'm sure that. your job is just as tough as mine. You have no idea. I heard some rumors. Sounds like this has been a, a rough night for you, too. Run-ins with Corpsack and Lomo. Am I in trouble? You're making your deliveries? Making waves? Surviving? It's all good, Rania. Come by Cloudpunk HQ to get a new package. Sweet. Hey, Control, I got stuck in the hollows, and... What were you doing down there? I guess I got lost. Anyway, I got talking to this broken terminal down there, and it said... It said it was Korra. Look, all sorts of people say the word Korra, but they really mean broken AI, or the city algorithms, or... Damn, even just fate. It doesn't really mean anything anymore. Got it? I guess. Um, listen up. We need to talk business. You're getting a bit of a bump up in priority. <laughs> uh, the customer ratings algorithm has you ranked pretty high. I've got a premium contract for you. Did I get some good reviews or something? A few. A few. <laughs> Can you tell me who? I, I'm not supposed to. Never Slow Joe said you were a, a fine gal. <laughs> we had a review from a William who said you were more than satisfactory. Awesome. What about the Octavius Butlers? They rated you... Mediocre? mediocre. <laughs> nah, that's about what I expected from them. What's this fancy job then? You're meeting a CEO. Delivering to the Spire. Wait, what? Really? Really. Nice. Fuck. Should we get something to eat? We? Well, you. But I am interested in food. I am food curious. Why? There is no food for me, but there is food for dogs. I want to be a good dog. There's nothing like food for an automata? Nothing at all? There is clock cycles and I suppose voltage. They feel hmm. different. Taste different. No, that is not it. But when I have slow clock cycles, I feel dimmer, flickering. Like, my thinking has clouds. Is it worse when you're in the hava frame? No. Uh, a little. I don't want to make you feel bad. I'll get you a new frame soon, Camus. <laughs> I know. Maybe you need food, though. I am a little hungry. I have the thinking clouds, too. I should eat something. What, though? Hmm. It's always a good idea to think about what to eat. All right, uh, speak to... Rutrov? Hey, you deliver stuff, right? I do. Sure, when I'm paid to. I pay you. That's not how it works. You <laughs> have to contact my employer. Seems complicated. 
How about I just pay you? Sounds Look, good. I can't just. How about I pay you up front? Listening, but I won't take anything <laughs> illegal or dangerous. What's the package? My durable, my vestments, my tights, my rosaries, and my apocrypha sanguine first edition. Okay. I have no idea what any of those are. No okay. kidding. Are they something to do with your religion? You mean my cult? <laughs> you can tell by my robes. Yeah. I mean, no. Well? Just take them. Deliver them to the compound. You know the place. Everyone knows the place. Here's the fee. If you make the delivery without incident, come back and I'll double it. On my way. Alright. Well, that's a good thing. I get to make extra money, so... We'll go and we'll, uh... We'll do some investigating. And, uh... We'll get some more stuff and we'll make more money. I like that. Alright, let's, uh, while I'm on our adventures here in this one little area, we'll start and talk to, uh, Cardinal. You, child! <laughs> you have sin in your eyes, in your thoughts, under your nails. Probably. Excoriate yourself before my mother. Your mother. The old mother! Me. Oh. Me? Stop pointing at me. <laughs> You feel the spotlight of guilt. It strips away your facade. Bow down to Cora and ask her to free us and birth anew. We are all doomed! Don't you have anything better to do than shout at people in the street? <laughs> Not at the moment. I'm waiting for my robes to be dry cleaned. Oh. Repent! Repent and suffer before the gaze of the old mother! Oh, Canvas, do you hear this guy? This is exactly what Mom warned me about in Navalis. Crazy people shouting on the streets. I hear him. What is he talking about now? I saw the fourth face as I stripped away the mask. The eyes of Cora looked down and a mouth made of garbage spat upon my soul <laughs> gross he mm. shouted at you he shouts at a lot of people not corpse sec i noticed or the gangers over there or guys in general my knowledge base says many religious factions do not respect minorities or women <laughs> your knowledge base is not wrong camus oh wow okay awesome all right so let's go up <laughs> next are we supposed to take things from people on the street? You know we're not, so why do you ask? I was confused. No, you were being my conscience and annoying. <laughs> Sorry, it's just a lot of money. We have to take some risks. Tell me about these sons of sanguine. I can search the undernet. Too risky, just the regular nets, news articles and hollow vids. Cult stole my baby. Sons of Sanguine recruiting pop stars by blackmail. <laughs> Sons of Sanguine high priest disowns rebellious daughter. A Sanguine monk who claimed to survive without food or drink was revealed to be a fraud. Caught eating a 40 inch pizza. You see why I avoid the news? So they're your basic loony cult. They say they are a legitimate religion. Oh. Of course they do. What is the difference between a cult and a religion? The entrance fee. Let's just drop the package and get out of there fast. <laughs> That's a good point. Alright, so we're going to have to go around because I won't be able to fly over that. Awesome. Let's go and deliver this. Greetings from the mother. Please put your finger on the scanning plate. I just need to drop off a package. I don't have a security pass or anything. The scanning plate, Pilgrim. <laughs> I'm not a Pilgrim. Look, I don't want to come in or anything. Can you just take this package, please? Or do you have a mail slot? The scanning plate, please. Fine. Just here? Ouch. Something jabbed me. I'm bleeding. We just need to check your type. We are confident you are not one of the forbidden. <laughs> you are? I'm not. Alert. Alert. Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. But I just need to... Alert. Alert. 
Forbidden type detected. Please leave immediately. Fine, I'll take it back. Talk about a cult. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I bet you that guy did it on purpose. To get us pricked. What a prick. Was it a bad idea to take the package? Yes. You get to say the four sweetest words in the world. Let's go to the park? <laughs> That's five. Go to the park? No, I told you so. Ah, uh, yes. Those are good, too. Let's just take this package back to Rotriv. Uh-huh. Go figure, right? Let's go see Rotriv here. See what happened to him. They didn't want it. You are of the forbidden type. I guess so. As am I. So they threw you out of their cult when they discovered you were the wrong blood type? No, they banished me when my type changed. I was given a transfusion after a hover crash. But if they gave you a transfusion, it would have to be the same blood type, right? No, they gave me the forbidden type. O negative. Ah, uh, I get it. And even after they kicked you out, you wanted to give your stuff back? It's not their fault that I was tainted. I've got to say, your religion seems pretty arbitrary about who it lets in. You forbidden types often speak this way. Hmm? Well, me and you are the same as far as they're concerned now. You gonna give me the other half of the payment? What do you think? Nope. Not at all. He was not very nice. Hey, we got paid, even if it was only half. I hope he is in another accident. Whoa, Camus, that's a bit much. <laughs> he is bad. It is not good to exclude people like that. Hmm. Normally I'd agree, but in this case, the less people allowed in that weird cult, the better. Hoorah. All right, let's go back to our, our awesome hobo. All right, let's go do... Wonder the Evelyn one. We're gonna go off to do that. So here we are with uh, the second part of Evelyn here. I found more of your punch cards. Do you remember what happened? Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. <laughs> Evelyn, you're really making me work here. Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. So now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what. Yes, that is correct. So I guess we should stop, right? <laughs> I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... I must recover the truth. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I cannot live like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. Okay, so there's another 20 of them out there. Alright, alright, well we can do that, we can do that. So I have been spending a little bit of money, uh, mostly on vehicle upgrades. Got uh, lateral boosters, got that antenna from the first episode, and then uh, vertical repulsors. This is supposed to help us make go up and down and move side to side a little bit faster. There's another one for speed, I didn't get that one yet, but uh, yeah, I also picked up a human hand. Isn't that weird, eh? Hmm. Um, eventually I guess I'll find the person that that belongs to. Ugh. Uh, and then we have our apartment. I could go spend a little bit of money in our apartment. What do, we, what do you think? we we'll go check that out and see what we can buy. If we buy some nice things for our apartment. Since we're here, right? You know. Gotta come back here every once in a while. Let's, let's buy something. Make it look nice. So, uh, let's buy a fridge. Sweet. Uh, oh, plant, that, nice. sure, sure, oh, nice. a fish ah. tank, mm, a mirror. Okay, that is awesome. Ah, nice. Ah, that's good. Not bad. Uh, I got a random pizza daily for one month. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be around every day to go get that, so we'll just, like, you know, ignore that one, but... Oh, hollow display. You can turn it on and turn it off. That's cool. So there we go. I upgraded our apartment a little bit. It makes it a little bit nicer. Uh, look at the photo. Awesome. 
Joe. Who's Joe? I don't know who Joe is. But we got a uh, fish tank. Let's go to the fish tanky. Oh, look at the fishies. Good stuff. Okay, so we got our decorated apartment now. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's good to spend some money there some once in a while. Alright, let's get out of here and let's go and um, I'll maybe get something to eat. Does it really matter where you go to eat? Should be something to eat around me here. Let's check out that. Um, look at that, right down this way. Well, even though it says diner right there, but I guess you gotta go speak to an individual person. Let's go down this way. Uh, where is it? This thing here. Hollow cash. Oh, that's the hollow cash thing. Oh, but then there's soup here. That I know. Uh, waiter. All right. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Hmm. Let's go for a veggie sandwich. Done. Thanks for this. Y'all come back. You hear? There we go. Now she got a sandwich. Hope she feels better. <laughs> now, uh, let's head out to Cloudpunk. Can I ask about food again? Go ahead, Chemis. How was it? Good. Surprisingly good. You know, I never thought the food would be the one thing I wouldn't hate about Novalis. Mom said it was all junk. I mean, it is. But it tastes so good. It is junk? Not actual junk. Mom was exaggerating. I don't like exaggerating. It is the worst thing in the whole world. You know, it's not all junk either. They actually sell some good food here too. Fresh tomatoes grown in the vents, crow eggs from the low spire, hot bread basted in walnut oil, cherry pie. No way those are real cherries though. You sound <laughs> happy. I wouldn't go that far, but I'm looking forward to exploring the food stalls tomorrow. We just need to get through tonight, Camus. You can order food by drone, too, if you don't like to go outside, because you hate the city so much. You know, I don't mind the idea of going out and exploring the food stalls. It feels more like... Home? Not quite, but those glute bars are so good, I bet even Mom would have liked them. <laughs> the glute bars, huh? Should almost be near Cloud Punk and Ah, uh, you see every time. <laughs> Here we are right, Cloud Punk. Awesome. Here's our package. And let's go. This one's far. Go up on one of those big elevators? I go up in one. It's called a vinculum ascender, apparently. It's only for people. What's a vinculum? What's an ascender? I'm people. You are, but right now you can't come with me. Most people just call them vink tubes. They take you to the spire. The spire? Vink tubes. Wow. Hmm. Oh, check this out. We found one of those engineers. Let's talk to this guy. See if he's the same engineer that we found at the beginning. Hey, delivery driver. Oh, it is too. Hey, engineer. <laughs> Did you see any blinking street signs? Thankfully, no. Did you figure out what was causing all the accidents? Not sure. Continued and sustained entropic breakdown of a complex system. So that's not an easy fix, right? <laughs> it is not. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe painting. Or I could take up photography. It's something visual. I might even try sewing. No one sews these days. <laughs> I mean about the city. You can't just quit. That's too far gone. Anything I do now has as much chance of costing lives as saving them. Oh, that's not a good way of looking at it. I had my men close off a section of the freeway for repairs. I diverted the traffic through a different neighborhood. Then it collapsed. Oh crap. What collapsed? The road? Uh-uh. The, the whole neighborhood. neighborhood. <laughs> it's under the ocean now. That's not your mm. fault. Well, 
It sure feels like my fault. Can't someone else help? How about the people up in the spire? Who are you kidding, lady? They don't give a crap. Sorry. Maybe a painter then? You won't be short of inspiration. Oh yeah. Sure. I can move down to the slums and paint the reflection of the sun on the waves as they swallow the city. The slums. No savings then? On an engineer's salary? <laughs> Good joke, lady. Wow. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so well I'm sure there's gonna be more to more to him. I'll end up meeting him sooner or later again. So just up here is where we gotta go. Sweet. And we gotta go on to this thing. Nice. Lift. Camus, can you hear me? Hey, Rania, I'm reading you. Uh, how's the spire? Uh, I was trying to talk to... I'm not there yet, Control. I'm in the Vink tube. I was in one of those once. You secretly a retired court billionaire, Control? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Loading screen? But you haven't done this your whole life, right? You weren't always a Cloudpunk dispatcher. Uh, it feels like my whole life uh, and more. I can barely remember a time before Cloudpunk. Can't move I've the only screen. been in Novalis for half a day, and home already feels a million miles away. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. You got family back home? I've got no one. The debt corpse took everything. Of course, uh, that's why you came here and took the job. You're a debt orphan. Why did you take the job, Control? Nothing else I could do. It's uh, it's the kids' faces I struggle to remember, Rania. I can picture Simone's smile pretty good, her frown even clearer, but the kids... I'm really sorry. Do me a favor, Rania. Don't talk to me about Cora anymore. Sure thing, Control. What happened to them? It was an accident at Midtown. A bad one. I know it doesn't mean anything, not really, but... I heard one of the accident cleanup crew say this is the third traffic accident caused by Cora this week. That's awful. Maybe they didn't know what they were saying, but if Cora is some mad AI that caused that accident, well, I ain't gonna forgive that. Hmm. Whether Cora is an automata or an android or even a person, if they cost me my family, I ain't gonna let that go. Not ever. Oh, that's sad. I understand. You uh, almost at the spire? Looks like I'm about halfway there. Says on your file you're a musician. I was. You can't say you're a musician if you don't play anymore. True. I used to play the flute. You won't play something for me? Sorry, Control. You know how you don't want to talk about Cora? Well, the flute, it's the same for me. I get it, Rania. I, I get it. That's a real shame. Feels like a lifetime since I heard music. Anyway, I better go. Good luck up there. Thanks, Control. That's really sad, Control. Alright, so above the clouds. But that's it for today's episode, everybody. In the next episode, we will venture into the clouds and we'll explore this area. So in the meantime, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.